This video is about bitmap controller in Pyro3D 2.8. The bitmap controller in Pyro3D can produce a scalar value based on the color values stored in the texture map. Now, in addition to that, we are able to extract data from a vertex color of an editable map, which you have painted using the vertex paint modifier. To see this in practice, I have made a surface using few spill lines and a cross section on top. I use smooth for the spill line option. So it gives me smooth profile across my shapes. And then on top of it, I use surface modifier to generate a patch surface on the framework that I have made using these spill lines. Here, there is a parameter which you can control the number of division of your surface. And on top, I add, as usual, edit, edit poly modifier to be able to use this in part And the object which I'm going to array is a circle as a base object and an edit spline modifier on top of it, which I have attached a rectangle to my circle using this modifier. And the reason which I have made the circle first and then attach the rectangle to it is that I want to control the radius of the circle as a parameter and on top of these I got the extrude modifier and a freeform deformation modifier which gives me these control points that using them I'm going to deform the objects to fit in each individual face of the surface. For this tutorial I'm going to use one dimensional array so here we're just going to leave this as 10 1 1. It pops up this question that do I need to uh, modify the control points of the object? Uh, I should say yes since I'm going to deform it. And the first thing we'll do is that we use the transform property to, to transform the object to the surface itself. Okay. That's about it. We just update the area. Wanted to cover the entire surface, so we need to add the uh, items to our array. Here, using the set array count number, I can create enough number of items to populate the entire surface. And the next step would be deforming the objects using the master control points again we're going to add surface controller we use instance and before the and since we chose instance we have to add sub object controller here to set the offsets and we just need to uh, pick our surface which is called let's, let's change the name of the space surface to my surface so then I can choose it from the list here we go now we just need to update the array okay so as you can see I deformed the panels by using a freeform deformation modifier and because of that the circle is not actually a circle anymore and depends on mm, what proportion this panel gets and the circle changes to kind of ellipse form if you want to keep the form of the hole inside the panel as a perfect circle then you need to take a different approach to this which I will explain in, in few next tutorials for this tutorial, I will just uh, tell you about the bitmap controller and then how you use a vertex paint modifier to paint on the surface and get the uh, vertex color into your bitmap controller. So let's go under the circle and find the radius. Here it is. Now we we'll just need to assign a bitmap controller. In part 2.8, we have two options here. You either can use a texture map as usual, 
So for that, you click on the, this button. It takes you to material library, and you have to choose a map or bitmap from there. You can also set the input to a vertex color, and then you get these options enabled, which is asking for an object that has a edit poly modifier and also a vertex paint modifier on it. I'm going to create a reference copy of this. We choose reference for the clone options and I add a vertex paint modifier and then once you add this modifier you get this vertex paint uh, toolbar that um, lets you to paint on your vertices it actually convert the surface that you've given to a canvas that you can that you can paint on it using the color, different color and the different brushes and other tools that you got in this toolbar. To see the current color, toggle this button and this is all white so I have to start painting uh, a black color and I use my brush, I change the brush size as much as one. Uh, let's go with 120 for this and you can just come over this uh, surface and by holding left mouse key and just painting on the surface so here I create this kind of spot you can also blur some areas using this and just add more color here make it 50 All right. Now let's go back to the bitmap controller settings. Here is the mean and max. And the value that you need to set for the minimum and maximum output is corresponding to the black and white area of your canvas. So for the black area, we're going to make one for the radius, and for the and for the white area we we'll go with 10 and we update the I'm sorry I forgot to choose in the surface so here using this pick button we pick the surface and my surface is there and now let's update it okay uh, I'm just gonna hide the surface itself so you can see the holes inside the panels okay we got the the area which is black on our canvas and the radius of the circle is smaller and it gets to the white area the radius becomes bigger and it comes to 10 you can even animate this property and using this animation mode I can go here and I can start painting on the, uh, the geometry and I can see that uh, the panels are changing as I paint in these This is pretty easy and a straightforward approach to control parameter using the vertex paint modifier. And uh, in this tutorial, it was a radius of a circle. You can do it with any any parameter in your array.